What is good everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today we have another WWE action figure set up for you guys and this time it is Pennywise slash It Edition. So in today's video, guys, we do have a brand new WWE action figure setup, guys. You can see the full backstage arena is completely full with it slash Pennywise. It obviously being the movie, Pennywise obviously being the killer clown character from those movies. And today we have the full backstage freaking filled up with them and i'm super excited to show you guys you know it too just released in theaters this past weekend and you know i cannot wait to see it i did not catch you know one of the original showings so i am ready to go see that thing i haven't seen it quite yet but i am ready to see it i love the first one and i've always been a big fan of pennywise and it and the movies so i am uh, i'm super excited to see it man but uh, i wanted to avoid the crowd you know i didn't want to get out there with me and my wife and get all involved in the shenanigans and the farts and the holes but you know what we do have the best Backstage ready to go for this action figure setup, guys. You know we do WWE here. We do horror here. So we're going to combine the two here today, and we're going to get going with this beautiful action figure setup. So let's start off in the corner, guys, and we're going to start off right here, and I really thought this was hilarious, okay? So what we got right here is uh, we got Pennywise. We have it slash Pennywise right here in the trash can, and it, I like this angle because you can't really see down in the trash can. So it literally looks like he's coming out, and you guys know that, you know, he can sort of morph reality and he can play around and shape shift and things of that nature so I think that it's really badass that you can't see down in the trash can so it would be totally realistic for him to show himself in this form you know coming out of the trash can and I thought this was hilarious because you guys know who Trash Corbin is my least favorite wrestler ever I have this mean figure created and I thought it would be hilarious to have you know Trash Corbin up next to Trash Pennywise even though you know Pennywise isn't trash but uh, Trash Corbin is and I thought it'd just be funny to have both of them here but anyways getting into Randy Orton look out Randy Orton look at the terrifying look look on Randy Orton's face as he's yelling and you can see Pennywise is yelling you know coming out with that monster face got the fangs out right there and then you know uh, you got Randy Orton's side of it both of them yelling at each other like totally reacting totally scared to death here is Randy Orton and Trash Corbin I just thought it'd be funny to throw in there because he is trash and you know Pennywise is coming out of the trash but that's the first part of our setup guys if we come to the middle you guys will see that we have it right here but this is the 2017 version of Pennywise and uh, you guys know uh, two years ago I think I made this Finn Balor custom elite in the, you know, it's like a demon Pennywise attire, and I made this, and this is what sort of started our custom, you know, Finn Balors that we used to do every single month, and this is the one that started off, so I always love to, uh, you know, when we do these horror setups, I like to, you know, include that Finn Balor right there, so we have this Finn Balor that is inspired by Pennywise on the back of this figure, actually, you'll see it says You'll Float 2, because you guys know he likes to do the designs on the back, I thought it would be badassery to put You'll Float 2 on the back, but there is Pennywise, and and Finn Balor, and you can just see the uh, the resemblance there. I mean, doesn't it, doesn't it sort of resemble? You got the hair, you got even though his is, you know, not as orange or, you know, it doesn't have that orangish tone that Pennywise has. I still like it a lot and I really like what we got going on right here. So there is Finn Balor and Pennywise in the dead middle of the setup. And we come over here, guys. It's where our video started and you guys saw it in the thumbnail. I really like this a lot. You have Brock Lesnar yelling, you have Braun Strowman yelling, and you have Seth freaking Rollins all yelling because Pennywise is coming out of this storybook right here. And if you guys can see right here, uh, you will be able to tell what is going on. You can see the monster it right there. It's sort of the same face that we got going over here from the trash can. Coming out of this storybook right here, and Seth Rollins, Braun Strowman, and Brock Lesnar are all reacting right here. Totally scared here as his hand is reaching through the book. And I wanted to totally use that accessory that came with this, uh, this it figure right here. The re-release of this figure came with this accessory, and I totally wanted to use it here in the setup. So this is what we got going on right here. Seth Rollins, and I just love that shot, how all of them are totally shocked and yelling and screaming because it, it just works so well. I tried to use, you know, a bunch of reaction shots for this video, and that's what we got going on. Uh, speaking of which, if you come right here, guys, you will see Kurt Angle, and you can see the terrifying look on his face yelling. Like, everybody in this video is yelling. I think it's hilarious because that's that's what would happen, right? If Pennywise broke out in the backstage area, you'd be yelling for your life. You'd be running around like a crazy person trying to get the hell out. So, uh, we have Kurt Angle right here, and if you guys can see this, I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's a balloon, and it's just turn back. Now, so what I'm thinking is Kurt Angle was trying to escape, man. He's trying to get the hell out of the arena, and he walks over to the to the curtain right here trying to get out of the arena. He sees the balloon that says turn back now, and he's like, nah, bro, get the hell out of here. 
I mean, not only that, but he's yelling because you have like 80 Pennywises in the backstage area. And, you know, I don't think he's going to make it out alive. So he's screaming for his life there, totally in fear. And so uh, not only do we have Kurt Angle yelling, we have Brock Lesnar slash Braun Strowman slash Seth Rollins yelling. And we have the Randy Orton yelling at the moment. So, and we're not done, guys. We still have more people to yell. And we're, we're going to the next part of the setup right here, which is AJ Styles. And you can see AJ Styles is yelling as well. So he's like, you know, he's facing off with Pennywise here. And Pennywise is there. That's another rendition of the 2017. It's two different figures here that we have of the 2017 Pennywise. And so what I'm thinking is he shoves this spear through the eye socket of Pennywise. And it didn't do any good. You know, Pennywise still alive here, still battling. And uh, AJ Styles is completely shocked. He's like, oh, hell no, bro. I'm getting the hell out of here. Are you serious? And he's screaming in fear, just like his fellow partners here with Kurt Angle and Seth Rollins and Strowman and Lesnar and Orton. So he says, nah, bro, I'm out. I'm out. 5,000 and he, he's going to get the hell out of here. But I thought that was cool to have. I wanted to have him actually holding the spear, but it was really tough to get that in position. Plus with his right hand being a fist, you know, it wasn't really working out. So I figured why not have it moments after he stabs him in the face, shoves the spear through the eye socket, and then he backs the hell off like, no, nah, bro, I'm getting the hell out of here. So there's AJ Styles and Pennywise right there. If we come right here, this is pretty funny. You know, it sort of shows that, that sense of humor that the Tim Curry Pennywise had. Um, you can see here that Pennywise has put Miz through this table and in, in true Pennywise fashion he is laughing in his face you can see there a big smile on the face yelling in his face pointing at him you know laughing at him because uh, he put him through the table making him look like trash there making him feel terrible about himself so he, uh, he you know he's laughing in his face I absolutely love the Tim Curry Pennywise I freaking love it even though uh, you know I, I just love the, the original character design is beautiful t truly terrifying and then I thought that Tim Curry did an absolutely fantastic job in his original acting job in that movie. I just love it. I think it's hilarious um, and uh, watching it a hundred million times growing up and obviously even to this day, it just, it just genuinely makes me laugh. I know it's supposed to be terrifying but it makes me laugh with his performance. So there's Miz getting put through the table guys and uh, Pennywise is having a laugh. If we come over here, guys, this is just something I wanted to add to the setup. You know, it just kind of gives... I was going to do, like, something where somebody was being afraid of this, like, slash movie poster, but I couldn't really think of nothing. I thought that was kind of stupid once I realized it. That's dumb. I don't like that. I'm, I'm taking that out of the setup, but... I thought, uh, you know, the rest of the setup goes pretty well. So, the last part of our setup back here, guys, is Pennywise blocking the exits again. You know, he's trying to trap everybody in here. So, he's coming out of trash cans. He's blocking off the exit. He's coming out of books. He's putting people through tables. And so, this is another portion right here where he is blocking the exit. So, this is the exit. And Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn were trying to escape. But they realized that uh, that's not going to happen, Brad. They're not, they're not getting out of here. And you can just see the menacing look on Pennywise's face. He's got the hands open wide there. And he's sort of spreading out here and uh, he is blocking the exit. So Sami Zayn and KO are screwed, and they're just like Kurt Angle, just like AJ, just like the rest of them. I think the only one that really has a chance at living is probably Finn Balor, and that's because he sort of has taken on the form of Pennywise here, or maybe Pennywise using the brain of Finn Balor to sort of, you know, manipulate his mind and morph him into a demon Pennywise. I, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. We're talking about a, a fake action figure setup, and we're trying to get crazy, but you know what? That, that's what makes it creative and fun. So uh, this is it for the Pennywise slash it action figure setup guys i hope you guys did enjoy i really enjoy the horror setups i enjoy you know crossing over things because you know when you have a bunch of figures like this with pennywise or jason or freddy krueger or michael myers that we have in the big box of horror figures if you guys have missed that definitely go check that out but it's just so cool to sort of mix them together and get something going and you guys know when halloween comes around the closer we get to halloween we'll still have some horror content like this on the channel you know we review horror figures we try to include them when we can and i thought this would be really fun since the it since it to just release. I thought this would be a really fun idea, but I would love to know your favorite part of the setup, guys. Please let me know down in the comment section below. Do you like the Pennywise Finn Balor? Do you like the, the trash can It slash trash Corbin? Do you like uh, Pennywise laughing at Miz? I think that's hilarious. You have AJ Styles spearing Pennywise through the skull. You have him blocking the exit. You have Kurt Angle running from the balloon, and then you have this beautiful part. I think this is my favorite part. I just love the execution of this with Brock Lesnar terrified and Seth Rollins and Braun Strowman. Obviously, uh, these three wouldn't be hanging out or anything but I still thought it was a cool part to plug into the setup and everything like that. But I think that is going to do it for today's action figure setup, guys. Tomorrow we have another video coming. Wednesday we have my Class of Champions predictions coming.
coming out Thursday. We'll have probably another action figure setup, but it will be Clash of Champions edition, so be on the lookout for another action figure setup coming Thursday. And many, many more videos coming to the channel this week. You guys know we post daily, so subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE and horror action figure related content. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.